y'all and welcome back to Kelly's Closet. Actually, today we're in Kelly's Kitchen and what I've got for you today is a quick little dessert. Now, my inspiration for this dessert came from a video that I saw on Kelly Barlow Creations on her channel. Instead of using apple pie filling, she used peach pie filling. So, that's why I said inspiration because I'm not exactly doing what um, she did, but it's it's practically the same thing. So I'm gonna give the credit to her. And she's probably not the first one that's ever done this. I think I have seen this. Um, if you can hear that, we're having a thunderstorm. So just if you hear that rumbling, that's the thunder. Yeah, let me grab one more thing. Okay. <clears throat> So, I have been getting ready for my very first craft show. I am so excited, y'all. It's been so much fun. But, I've been doing a lot of fall crafts for the show. So, it's kind of put me in that mood. And that's kind of where I'm going with this dessert. There is nothing at all healthy about this dessert but I guarantee you it's going to be delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, uh, my hands are clean, clean hands always. My work surface is clean. I have not used my 13 by nine inch um, Pyrex dish for a while. So I did go ahead and um, give it a good little quick washing as well. So what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my apple pie filling. I have three cans of this and I'm going to get all of that deliciousness out of there. And of course, I'm just going to spread it around. Like I don't need to tell you that, you would know to do that. And I'm gonna get all three of these out in here. Just like this. Don't leave a drop in there. And then number three. I also think this would be pretty good if I had some crushed up pineapple to put in here. Mm, that probably would be good. But I don't have any, so we won't be doing that today. And I'm just going to layer all this out. Okay, so we're going to even all that out. And then the next thing we're going to do is I have some classic white cake mix. Now, I could, oh, <laughs> my oven has preheated. She's letting me know she's ready. Ow, I just bent my nail back. I'm trying to let my um, nails grow off and they're not acrylics. They're, um, what they did was they, my fingernails, these are actually my nails, the length, and they dipped them in the powder stuff. So, um, I mean, I could take regular, I think it's acetone nail polish and wrap it and wrap my nails in full and put it on a cotton pad and then wrap it in full. I don't do all that and it's kind of messy. So I'm just basically trying to let them grow off. But this one has gotten loose underneath and I just bent it back and it hurt. So anyway, there's that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cake mix just like it is. And remember I told you ahead of time don't think there's going to be anything healthy about this dessert because there's not. So, and I'm just going to sprinkle it all over. And I'm going to try to get this as even as I can and get it all into the sides and everything Oof, without making a mess. What I should have done before I opened this is I should have 
um, well, I'm going to make a mess. There's just no way around it. I should have um, gotten the lumps out of this a little bit. I did not do that. You can remember to do that if you try to make this dessert. And it's going to be tasty. So I'm sure that you will want to try it. And really, I just want, I'm, I want to cover up everywhere that I see the pie filling peeking through. And I am going to use the whole entire bag. And I'm going to do that because Kelly did it on her video. She used the whole entire bag, so I'm gonna do the same thing. And there we go. And I do try to clean as I go. Do y'all do that when you're cooking? Do you clean as you go or do you wait until you're done and then just clean up all at once? I just prefer to do it that way. Let me, I'm just gonna use the opposite end of this. There's some clumps in there. So I'm just going to get those clumps out as best I can and try to even this out where I don't have a pile of it in one place. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Well, I've still got some little lumps and I'm not going to try to get every tiny little clump out I just didn't want the big ones in there okay so done with that now what I'm going to do is I've got this instant oatmeal and I chose the maple and brown sugar and um, what Kelly used in hers even though she was doing a peach she used the apple and cinnamon, which would be fine. I'm sure that would be delicious. But I just decided to go maple and brown sugar because, like I said, doing all these crafts for my craft show has gotten me into this fall type mood, even though it's only the middle of August and it's 79,000 degrees outside. Um, but it just made me have a taste for something fallish. And that's why we're going here. And plus I wanted to do something nice for Mr. Closet. <laughs> Bless his heart, he's had a little bit of a rough time with, he's just been working and working and not really giving himself a break. So, and I'm a good Southern wife. How do I reward people? With food with food that's really unhealthy and bad for you, but it's gonna be delicious. Okay, I'm going to use three packets of this oatmeal. And I know right now this is looking like a whole lot of dry stuff, but I know y'all see the butter sitting out there. So, you know where this is going at the very end. All right, and there's my second one. And here's number three. And like I said, the same with the cake mix. I just want a good even spread over the top. So, let's get this one on here. I haven't even started cooking this yet, and it already smells delicious. Okay. Let me, I like to keep my empty box up here. I can use it as a little garbage can. Let's go ahead and put that out of the way. Now, um, I'm gonna wash my hands one more time, just because, um, weird. 
about stuff like that. I've been touching these boxes and opening them, and that may be a little bit of overkill, but it makes me feel better, so that's what I'm gonna do. Because, oh, and I just thought about it, I'm gonna have to make sure I get my hands really, really dry, because I'm about to sprinkle, no, nah, I'm not gonna sprinkle anything, I'm going to spread um, brown sugar all over the top of this now, and I'm gonna do it with my hand. My hand's still not dry. And I wanted to make sure, absolutely sure, that my hands are clean, and now I want to make sure, absolutely sure, that they are dry. So, here we go. Brown sugar, ooh. I just really hate sticking my hands into stuff. That's why I don't make meatloaf a lot. Ugh. Okay, let's just do it. Here we go. Okay, yeah. All up under my fingernails. This is just awesome. Anyway, we're just gonna spread this brown sugar on top of here. <laughs> oh, y'all, this, this is not my favorite thing to do. And I didn't even think about it before I started. But, you know, it is what it is. So, we've started it. Now, let's just finish it. I'm going to try to get big, huge handfuls. So, I can just get this part over with. Alright, here we go. Hopefully, this will be the last. I'm just going to spread that over and it is gonna be the last because I just am not gonna stick my hand back in that brown sugar one more way. Now, that is much better. All right, let me put the lid back on this. Clean up my little mess over here. That. Okay. And now, <laughs> now, I'm not going to put, since I am using a spoon to get this butter out, what Kelly did was she had a stick of butter and she just cut little pats of it and put it on here. <laughs> get back over here. But since I figure each one of these little dollops is more than what just cutting a little pat off the stick would be. I'm not going to use as much as she did. But I'm still gonna use quite a bit because we have a lot of dry mixes in here that need to the, um, here comes my favorite word, that need the moisture mm -hmm, of this butter melting and getting all down in there. So what she did was put four pats across all the way down. So I'm just gonna do three and then two and then three. Ooh, that's a lot right there. And like that. But yeah, um, I am getting excited. I hope y'all cannot hear my son in the background playing his game. He's playing in an NFL Madden and uh, or baseball, one of the two, not NFL Madden baseball, but you know what I mean, MLB. Um, and he plays online with his friends and they get insane just acting like boys do, you know. Anyway, I am very excited about my first craft show. Um, a, a friend of mine and myself, a friend of mine and me, one of the two, um, she makes jewelry. So she's gonna do a bunch of jewelry 
and then we're gonna have a craft show together. So I'm really, really excited. And it was funny because I was at my craft station one night and I was making um, one of the crafts. And when I got through with it, I looked at it and just kind of said out loud, oh gosh, this is really cute. I, I think I wanna keep this for myself. And Mr. Closet was sitting in there reading and he looked up and he said, no, no. Everything you make, you take to the craft show. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Mr. Closet, I will do that. But I have had um, so much fun making um, the items that I've made so far. There is one little item that I made that I thought, oh, you know, this is gonna be so cute and it's gonna be so easy and it was the hardest thing I've ever made and I won't ever make another one. If this item doesn't sell at the craft show, I will keep it. I won't just give it away or donate it. Well, unless my mother wants it, I will give it to her. Um, because it took me so long and it was so hard and my hands were so tired by the time I got through. Um, yeah, that will either stay with me or sell in the craft show. Okay, here is the butter on top. I'm going to cover the top. Not going to be wide enough to... So, I'm going to put this in the oven and let it cook for 45 minutes. And I will see you when it's done. Now, since I have made such a delicious dessert for dinner tonight, I decided to go as healthy as we possibly can. So, I got some, I had some frozen bird's eye vegetable mix. And it's carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli. And I put it in the microwave and let it steam and then I found this golden star brown jasmine rice and I'm not sure I think I got this at Walmart anyway it's the kind you just put in the microwave for 90 seconds and warm it up and I fixed two pouches of that and I have this um, Asian cuisine seasoning that I sprinkled over the top and then I topped it off with a little bit of this La Choy soy sauce. So we're going to have this for dinner. I'm just going to mix this up and I may add some onion to this. I don't know. But anyway, this is what we're going to have for dinner and then we're going to dig into that deliciousness that I've got in my oven that is smelling at my house so good right now. So I'm letting it brown right now like I just showed you a few minutes ago. I'll get back with you when it's done. And here it is after 10 minutes uncovered in the oven. And I, it's so hot right now that I can hear it bubbling. I don't know if I don't know if you all can hear that. <laughs> you probably can. I was going to see if I could let you hear it bubbling. But that looks so good. Now, I am going to let it cool for quite a while. Because if we tried to eat it in the next probably even 10 minutes, it would be so hot. It would just burn the insides of our mouths. But um, I did want to go ahead and show you. You could top this with some ice cream. You could top it with some Cool Whip. I do not have either one of those things, so we'll just be eating it straight like this. But why add the extra calories? Or, on the other hand, why not add the extra calories? There's already so many in there. But anyway, it's all about proportion sizes and moderation, right? You're not going to eat the big, huge bowl, hopefully. So, just start out with a little bit and... With a pan this size, if this doesn't last, well, I was going to say, if this doesn't last all week, it won't in my house. It, I'll be surprised if by Tuesday, today is Sunday, I'll be surprised by Tuesday if there's still any left. But anyway, this is 
the end result and it looks delicious and it smells delicious and I hope that I made it look easy enough to make and you all decide that you want to try it you should I haven't tasted it yet but like I said if it tastes anything like it smells I can't wait so anyway you guys thank you for stopping by my kitchen Kelly's kitchen today and if you enjoyed this video please please give me a big thumbs up and if this is your first time visiting my channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you like what you see please consider becoming a subscriber and a member of our community but always remember what i say be kind be blessed but most of all be crafty see you next week <laughs>